I filed this petition lordship on behalf of the husband. My contribution. Notice has already been issued. Notice has been issued. What is the stage of the proceedings? I have filed an application for non-maintainability of this 482. Hey, what is the uh, stage of proceeding before the court below? Interim order on the hai. Us par Rajneesh ne yaake affidavits file kiye gaye hain. Jo interim maintenance order ke liye. What are the main proceedings? Bila what is the situation? Domestic violence. Domestic violence. Yes. And uh, why no? It's no, madam. Uh, why do you say it? Why do you say it? Why do you say it is not maintainable? Lordship, regarding maintainability, there are many judgments of honourable Supreme Court as well as different high courts also, Lordship. Lordship, Madras High Court has specially five bench, uh, five judges have been constituted to decide this thing. Is that the notice of DV against 482 maintainable or not? Lordship, I have filed that case along with my list of documents. But Hello. even Daniel's case. So what has been challenged in this? Lordship, you need domestic violence can not be challenged. Cognizance order. Cognizance Complaint, cognizance order, as well as the entire continuation of the criminal proceedings. Lordship, merely after the notice. Lordship, Nietzsche, you know, you have no document. Notice means, notice after issued after taking cognizance. Ji. But Lordship, in domestic violence, actually, Section 12 ki jo application hoti hai, that is merely an application, that is not a complaint under Section 2 and D of CRPC. Is liye ye criminal procedure nahi hai. But if Section 17 to 23 mein jo relief di jati hai, wo saari relief civil nature ki hai. Aur isko bhoat elaborate karke decide kiya gaya hai is case mein. Not check. Not check, is case mein aap dekhe hai page number 15. Is me common order sak se pahle. Ye ta kya fight kiya hai? Not check, ye case hai. This is... Case of around 87 pages, Lordship. Order. No, Lordship. No, sorry, judgment of 87 pages. On page number 15, Lordship. May kindly see. On page 15, this full bench has been constituted under the orders of Honorable Chief Justice on a reference made by our learned brother, Justice N. Satish Kumar. Do you have a copy of this application? Yes, Lordship. You are ready on this? Yes, Lordship. Though they have not supplied to us the, the judgments which they have. Next. Thank you. Essentially, I am also prepared with my set of judgments and the law is crystal clear. Our High Court has held also, Supreme Court has held also and the uh, legislative intent is also clear. I will come to my turn, Lordship. If Lordship are hearing, uh, how many judgments have you filed? Lordship, I have filed one judgment and rest three judgments I am filing during the course of the day today. In judgments need not be filed. Yes. They can often be cited in court. Pradeep Mehta. Pradeep Mehta. But if this is in reference to this, that if uh, these uh, judgments are not binding, even though they keep persuasive value on this honorable court also, Lordship. If in case the ah, honorable okay. court differs from if, this If there is a Supreme Court judgment, then why to go to any yeah. high court, even our high court? Yeah. There is no Supreme Court judgment right. in their favor, Lordship. Yeah. Yeah. That is yeah. the court. This is not the point that it 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 is not Kunapa Reddy ka jo case hai, uska para number 20, it says ki is domestic violence act mein, saari relief civil nature ki. It doesn't say 482. Civil nature ki relief hai, isne 482 maintainable nahi ho sakta, isko elaborately jo describe, wo kiya hai, decide kiya hai, that is in the case of Arun Dhani, 287 case ka jo. Why do you say that this proceeding should be crushed? Actually, that is on merits, in the lordship is not on merits. अभी तो इनकी maintainability भी सुनें तो मैं उतना लाभ बता दूँ पहले तो कि merit भी सुनेंगे they are not ready on merits ये सर maintainability ये ready on ये four eighty two नहीं maintainable मैं तो दानों पे तैयार हूँ lordship maintainability भी सुनें मैं उसपे तैयार हूँ I will convince lordship it is maintainable it has been such petitions have been throughout maintainable since two thousand five when the act has been in a passed by the parliament four eighty two petition across the nation including our high court in fact some of the four eighty two I myself have scored lordship इसको मेडिट पे डिस्मिस कर देते हैं ना। वाइन इज़ नॉट पेंटेनेबल। मेडिट पे तो इंटेंशनली दे हैव फाइल्ड इस पेटिशन सो दैट कि इनको रेडी नहीं है। फाइल नहीं है। डॉक्यूमेंट्स विच हैव फाइल्ड इन दिस पेटिशन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम। आई विल नॉट कंसीडर दैट। शुभ्रिंदर कंसीडर वन बी द भजन लाल में जो सात कैटेगरी है उसको एक्सटेंड कर दिया सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने राजीव था और ये बोला है कि जो मटेरियल पे ही है राजीव था पर नॉट डेजर्मेंट कि जो डॉक्यूमेंट्स जो मटेरियल स्टर्लिंग क्वालिटी का है उसको फोर्टी टू में हाई कोर्ट को देखना पड़ेगा नहीं बट हाउ दिस फोटोग्राफ्स 
No, the, it, it can is, always be disputed. Yeah. There are other documents I should also. What's up? Okay. Yeah, be, what's yes, up? Okay. Sterling quality ke unimpeachable character. There are, there are, uh, there is, I have a next one uh, that uh, pen drive also. The domestic It's a video recording in Mary or in the meeting. Ki. Only against the husband or the entire family? Sure, husband, mummy, mother, father and married sister. And married sister who is living so Tell you maintainability. Tell you. Are you first? Ah, yes. No, no. You argue first. It's your application. Yeah. Uh, you are citing this four judges. So, no, one plus this BC. These four. Yeah. Rachit, domestic violence ki jo application hai. Is it a domestic violence act? Under section 12, it is an application. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. It is an application. It is an application. May I argue? Yes. Okay. Not if it is not a complaint. And that okay. is okay. mentioned in this 87 page judgment also, Lord Shri. Hmm. Here, the relief is section 17 to 23. It is all civil nature. <laughs> Clearly defined under section 27. This civil remedy is granted by the magistrate in this uh, domestic violence case. Not if कोई क्रिमिनल रेमेडी अवार्ड नहीं कर सकते हैं अनलेस एंड अंटिल कोई ऑर्डर हुआ हो और उसका वायलेशन हुआ हो तभी सेक्शन 31 में इट इज पनिशेबल अदरवाइज नियरली सिविल रेमेडीज कैन बी ग्रांटेड अंडर सेक्शन 27 इट इज वेरी क्लियर बट इफ सेकंडली सेक्शन 29 जो है वो कहता है अगर डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस में कहीं इनको कोई ग्रीवेंस है भी तो सेशन कोर्ट इज द कोर्ट वेयर ग्रीवेंस दे कैन अप्रोच फॉर द ग्रीवेंस बट इफ जब अपील के स्पेसिफिक पावर सेक्शन 29 में सेशन कोर्ट के पास है तो इट पुट्स अ नियर टोटल बार to approach to this honorable court. So, Lord Chief, this is not direct 482 to approach here. Lord Chief, if this is after the direct notice, we will approach here and we will demand a clashman here, then the subordinate court will not be able to do any judicial function here. Lord Chief, evidence... Let's see the provisions. Yes. Application is made under section 12. Yes. May present an application to the magistrate seeking one or more reliefs under this act. Yes. And what are the reliefs which can be granted under the act? You know, chip custody order, maintenance, then protection orders. Yes, from 17 to 20. It starts from section 18. 18. 18. Separate 18. orders. Separate orders. 17? That will not be covered. 18. Yes, 18. 17. I'm sorry. 17. 17. Sorry, including 17. Right of residence? Yes. Gee. Protection order. Protection orders. Ki domestic violence now. Ho. Custody order, which is not maintainable in this case, because it's not happening. Compensation or check? Residence order. Residence, compensation, custody. Monetary. 17 to 23 which are of civil nature. Which is specifically mentioned under section 27 also. Section 27 says and to try offensive under this act. So what are the offensive under this act? But if there is no order, if there is no order, then that is an offense. So that is... An offense. Non compliance of an order passed under the acts is an offense. Yes. And Lord Chief, the case of the case of the Honorable Supreme Court is in paragraph 20, page number 15. So, according to you, all the reliefs which are granted under the act, they are of a civil nature, not criminal nature. It's according to the Supreme Court also. Honorable Supreme Court, on page number 15, Kunapa Reddy's case, para number 20. The reliefs that can be granted by the final order or an interim order have already been pointed out. Above, wherein it is noticed that most of these reliefs are of civil nature. Paragraph 20. <coughs> most of these reliefs are of civil nature. Too much. And in this paragraph, we have explained all the reliefs in the paragraph. Civil nature is not civil nature. So, they are reliefs of a civil nature. Yes, they are finding the Honorable Supreme Court. Right. They are of civil nature. Too much. And not much. Then, and in Kunapa Reddy's case, I mean Daniel's case, I mean Daniel's case, I mean Daniel's case, I mean Daniel's case. Which is the second case? I mean Daniel's. Madras High Court. Where did you get it? Actually, this case is the first case that is on page number 15. Why did you sit on the bench? Actually, 32 cases were challenged by domestic violence in 482. They were decided to pass this judgment. And that was also on the reference by the Honorable High Court judge only. Not to be smitty kid, page number 15. Whether a proceeding under section 12 can be challenged under article 227 of the constitution or under section 482 of CRPC. Lord Chief, this case the finding is that in 227 you can go to the jurisdiction error and 482 is not maintainable. Where is that? That is on page number 81. Para D. Where is that? Where is that? As a secretary to the above, 
it must necessarily follow that the petition in this batch are not maintainable. We therefore see no useful purpose in limiting the matter to the learned single judge to perform obsequies. Accordingly, exercising power under Order 1, Rule 7 of the Appellate Side Rules, we hold that all the petitions filed under Section 482 CRPC shall stand dismissed at the SR stage itself, preserving all the rights and conditions. In fact, the answer is at page 80. G Clause 8. 81. A petition under section 482 sorry, sorry, challenging the proceeding under section 12 is not maintainable. G. A petition under section 482 CRPC challenging a proceeding under section 12 of BV Act is not maintainable. G. It is very clear that 482 is not domestic violence act. Mein maintainable nahi. Challenging a proceeding means any type, any type of proceeding. This is absolute. Our lordship, here you have said notice from the same time. Whatever. Proceeding will cover each and everything. Each and everything. Okay. So, lordship, that is why it is not maintainable. Lordship, Jammu Dashmir High Court ka case is Khalid Amin Kahali. Let me continue after lordship. Item number 15. 15? 15. 15. So, it is 482. A uh, notice had been issued to private respondent, dear lordship. Mm -hmm. The matter has been recently allotted to me by the legal aid. Mm -hmm. So I am praying three weeks time to file vakalatnama as well as reply to in that matter. Ek baar us dekhenge na what happened to the notice? Your notice has been served. Huh. And just now I have been informed by the legal aid to appear before this honourable court. So that's why I am seeking time. Okay, I got number. I got to I lodge. Three weeks. Three weeks. Sure. Number fifty one. Problem. Apportionment of FR in the light of compromise. The hmm. compromise is very Chik hai, sardhe na? What the Jammu and Kashmir, sir? Lordship, in Jammu and Kashmir also, Lordship, para number 19, page number 4, 1920. 20 says, in 19 last line, it is said, section 482 CRPC is not maintainable. 20th para, as this court held, that petition under section 482 of the code for questioning the proceeding in terms of the act of 2010, is not maintained hmm. in respect of the proceeding arising out of domestic violence act or the orders passed there. Hmm. So, let's see, kisi bhi judgment mein unhone ye nahi kaha hai ki domestic violence ke kisi bhi proceedings ke against 482 mein approach kiya ja sakta hai honorable high court ko. Let's see, jo Arun Daniel ka case hai, uska page number 26. The salient features that are discernible are, para 4, A point. Lordship, in A point, it is said that Section 12 of the DVA contemplates an application being made to the magistrate for grant of civil relief and not for taking cognizance of an offence. Kisi bhi offence ka cognizance nahi hai. B, as has been pointed out in Padhanabhan Supra, an application is made under Section 12 in terms of Rule 6.1 of BV Rules 2006 and not by way of a complaint as defined in Section 2D of CRPC. Consequently, an application not being a complaint under CRPC, the procedure for cognizance set out under section 191, subsection 1, subclause uh, sub A, CRPC followed by the procedure set out in chapter 15 of CRPC for taking cognizance will have no application to a proceeding under DV Act. But if the DV Act ne notice or uh, magistrate ne issue bhi kiya tha, agar is notice ke, as a result of that notice, if it appear nahi hote, no. then but if civil relief may other notice pay up appearance, then he did ex party order. Is he criminal court ki para one summon ya warrant ya age for the criminal proceedings? You have both proceeding. So, sir, ex party order ota, ex party order kya ota, not ship, jo 17 set 23 tak relief ki, that is residence ka order ota, compensation ka ota, ya custody ya is taraka ko order ota, kuki ha bachani to custody ni hoki matla, or residence. क्योंकि महिला चाहती नहीं है उस घर में रहना जहां उसको ऑलरेडी इतना प्रताड़ित किया गया सेम घर में रेसिडेंस वो चाहेगी नहीं कभी तो लॉर्डशिप रिलीफ क्या मिल जाती इनके अगेंस्ट अगर एक्स पार्टी ऑर्डर हो भी जाता तो क्या होता तो लॉर्डशिप सिर्फ मेंटेनेंस या कंपनसेशन अवार्ड होता मात्र कंपनसेशन से बचने के लिए इन्होंने ये 482 फाइल किया जबकि लोअर कोर्ट में इन्होंने ना कोई रिप्लाई आज दिन तक फाइल किया है ना ही रजनीश नेहा का एफिडेविट फाइल किया है ये पूरी पिटीशन जो यहां फाइल है उसका एक भी डॉक्यूमेंट लोअर कोर्ट में फाइल नहीं सिर्फ एक नोटिस हुआ और ये यहाँ पर क्वेश्चन के लिए आ रहे हैं। ठीक है चिप्स इसमें डिटेल सारे पॉइंट्स जो हैं उन्होंने एक्सप्लेन किए हैं एक्ट के कि क्यों ये सिविल नहीं चलता। जी यस और शिप the primary bone of contention of my learned friend is that the 482 is not maintainable it being the nature of 
सिविल रेमेडी और शिफ्ट बिफोर डायरेक्टली कमिंग ऑन टू जजमेंट्स एंड द मैटर मैरिट्स आई वुड लाइक टू ड्रॉ अटेंशन टू द स्कीम ऑफ द एक्ट सो एज टू अंडरस्टैंड द लेजिस्लेटिव इंटेंट सेक्शन चैप्टर फोर स्टार्ट सेक्शन ट्वेल्व under section 12 an application is made to the magistrate not to the civil judge for seeking seeking various protection orders as contemplated under section 17 18 19 20 21 22 and ex parte interim and interim orders in 23 mm. now kindly see lordship 24 talks about giving order free of cost jo ye protection orders agar ho jate hain ye diye jayenge free of cost to the parties mm. now i'll draw lordship's direct attention to section 28 which my learned friend skip deliberately mm. section 28 procedure mm. save as otherwise provided in this act all proceedings under section 12 18 19 20 21 22 and 23 and offences under section 31 shall be governed by the provisions of code of criminal procedure 2 nothing in subsection 1 shall prevent the court from laying down its own procedure for disposal of an application under section 12 or under subsection so and so so 28 specific the this is the law lordship parliament made law that the uh, all the proceedings under this act shall be governed by the procedure of crpc no doubt a uh, power is given under subsection 2 that in case the court is not following crpc or want to follow crpc with some modifications it may lay down its own procedure Hmm. But that laying down of the procedure must reflect in some order sheet of the court. Yes. It cannot be in air. So therefore, twenty eight makes it clear that all proceedings shall be governed by CRPC. Hmm. Now, Lordship, I put a question to myself: that one twenty five CRPC maintenance is provided, Lordship, provision for maintenance to various category, hmm. Lordship. Hmm. Supreme Court has in a certain of decisions held that. they are quasi civil and quasi criminal proceedings maintenance proceedings because rights of the parties are asserted therein as to whether she is entitled to maintenance or not in any judgment from the yes, lordship lordship yes many judgments i am coming but i am coming to them so lordship in 125 the jurisdiction of high court is invoked either in criminal revision or in 482 not in first appeal nor in second appeal and nor in 287 akin to that provision lordship this is the now coming on to lordship regarding the procedure now my learned friend relies on this uh, around daniel judgment of madras high court three judge bench this is 2022 five five judge this is five judge are you some five judge is three judge to full bench chal theek hai yes theek hai all right can you see lordship this is full bench judgment of madras high court 2022 hmm. essentially they say in <coughs> <coughs> this so i have seen na what are yes lordship so so they 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 say that 482 is not maintainable hmm. now kindly see they refer to one judgment of 2018 of full bench of bombay high court in para number 41 in which 4 years ago para 41 actually hmm. actually i have got reported judgment maybe they have different ठीक है paragraph number same 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 this is nandu kishore no lordship In their unreported judgment paragraph, you don't have any judgment of your own. I have not, sir. But my my knowledge is only for a year. So, in their judgment, can be checked. Because it is per per inquirium. That their judgment is per inquirium. Kindly see. Okay. So, first, yes, Lord. Here, so, this is Lord. Sir, this is 2018 full bench of Bombay High Court, in which essentially the dispute was if whether 482 would be applicable or not. Kindly see, Lord. Sir. So, so this uh, Bombay High Court has considered all the relevant aspects, scheme of the Act, all the provisions, and has held that in para 58 Lordship, a plain reading of Section 482 of CRPC, which serves inherent, saves inherent power of High Court, indicates that power is to be exercised by High Court not to just file the provisions, rather it has to be exercised for a specific other broader purpose. Exercise of inherent power has been delim- uh, delimited to such so and so, so and so Lordship. This would show. that inherent power of high court can be invoked not only to seek question of a proceeding but also to give effect to any order under the code or to challenge any order of the court which amounts to abuse of process so and so so and so this would mean that not only the respondent man but also aggrieved person woman may feel like approaching the high court to give effect to any order or to prevent abuse of process or to secure and so this would show that this power 
is capable of being used either by either of the parties and not just by the respondent seeking quashing of the proceedings under section 12 of the dv act if this power is removed from section 28 of dv act the affected woman may as well as equally get adversely hit and this is how the very object of dv act may get defeated now para 15 now one incidental question would arise as to from what stage the provisions of crpc would become applicable in our view this is on ki kab aaya ja sakta hai to unne ka kisi bhi stage pe aaya ja sakta hai in para 59 they say when the magistrate issues and you see applies a combined reading of these provisions shows that commencement of the proceedings would take place the moment the magistrate applies his mind to the contents of the application and passes any judicial order including that of issuance of notice once the proceeding commences the procedure under section 28 of the dv act subject to exceptions on this frame would apply in other words save as otherwise provided in dv act and the rules frame there under subject to this is the provisions of crpc shall govern the proceedings under section 12 to 23 and also so and so now lordship in this para 61 the supreme the bombay high court has quashed partly allowed the quality to petition and quashed the and i have directly drawn attention of lordship to para 52 58 before that in our various paragraphs dv acts 42 civil 227 and all other aspects have been considered including the provision 28 of the act which i just referred to lordship about the procedure now this is lordship three judge bench full bench 2018 and in para 41 of daniel judgment of madras high court they have they say daniel extra copy very lordship It is in para thirty four lordship of their compilation. Hmm. Page forty eight. जो इन्होंने अरुण डेनियल का जजमेंट साइट किया लॉर्डशिप. हम्म. उसका para thirty four है. Yes. The decision of the full bench of Bombay High Court in Nand Kishore Swanso versus Mangala, which has been cited with approval in P Ganeshan Supra, was brought to our notice. The full bench, like the division mentioned, P Ganeshan Supra has proceeded on the basis that procedure prescribed in section twenty eight of DV Act. Addresses the jurisdiction of High Court under 482. For the reasons indicated earlier, we respectfully find ourselves unable to subscribe to this view. Hmm. So, Lordship, now the difficulty would be whether the full bench of 2018 of a High Court and full bench of 2022 of a High Court taking a different view. Now, which view will be law of the land, Lordship? To my rescue, Lordship, on the law of per inquirium, the Supreme Court in 2018 Shanti Fragrances. she may note down the uh, citation also i'll sub- i have only book only 2018 11 scc 2018 11 scc 305 with yes. shanti fragrances versus the human of india hmm. in this <coughs> the law of per inquirium has been laid down and it has had, it has been held that the if the same co- strength of the judges are taking contrary view then the older view shall prevail and the later view shall be per inquirium and a uh interesting conundrum has been authored by justice nariman in this matter mm-hmm. and he has had he has said that what would happen that for centuries two judge bench is taking x view and suddenly three judge bench takes y view then whether the number of strength of the judges only in three judge case would determine that this is the law of the land or the two judge bench for taking view same view for 10 years so he says that this these will not be two judges these will be 20 judges mm. so therefore the matter has been referred to larger bench mm. that but in unequivocal in unequivocal terms the supreme court has held that the per inquirium as per per inquirium law the older view will prevail mm. this is the judgment law sir mm. now law should coming on to when there is dispute again arose when this dispute again arose before various courts whether 482 would be maintainable or not and the calcutta high court and bombay high court they have taken the view that with utmost respect the three judge bench of the madras high court they are not agreeing with that and they are following the bombay high court and listen this is bombay high court single bench on the similar point para 1 this application is filed under 482 of this 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 challenging so and so of dv act para 2 at the outset learned counsel for respondent has raised objection regarding maintainability of the application on the ground that provisions of 482 cannot be invoked in the present case so and so para 13 may kindly be seen i am sorry from para 
what is held ultimately last year it is held from para 10 11 12 13 on it is held that 482 is maintainable and they are agreeing they are going and by uh, going by the bombay view in para last year to follow bombay yes no para 13 and they have fold with folded heads they have which is the calcutta judgment last year calcutta yes yes last year this is calcutta judgment If opening line is the question that requires an answer in the instant revision is whether order passed by learned magistrate in a proceeding under section 12 read with 23 so and so on the point of maintainability of the case proceed can be quashed under provision of 482 now this lord sir in para 58 i'm sorry lord sir is the bombay full bench considered in this yes yeah, yes no i just madras is considered they have followed madhya pradesh high court also in fact in para 47 Similarly, there is no bar in invoking 482 in cases under protection of women against domestic violence act. In Suresh Ayerwar versus Priya Ayerwar, MCRC so and so wide order dated 11 November 18, the Madhya Pradesh High Court quashed the proceeding under 482 of the code, where aggrieved person implicated some persons as respondent in a proceeding under section 12 of the same with whom she had no domestic relationship. So, was there a 53? What was this objection taken in this case? Yes, Lord Sir, that was the preliminary question. Suresh Ayerwar. Yes, Lord Sir. Uh, that 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 I that I don't know that I don't know, but but in this case the same objection was taken and in para fifty three, hmm. uh, Calcutta High Court has held kindly see Lord Sir, para fifty three. Our High Court has passed uh, numerous cases Lord Sir. नहीं ये होगा बस वो ये क्वेश्चन था कि मैं ये देखना पड़ेगा. Certainly Lord Sir. Certainly Lord Sir. This has to be seen. But in this Lord Sir, para fifty three. But in para fifty three says. Hmm. A respondent can challenge maintainability of a proceeding under Section 12 of the Said Act without filing any such application before the learned magistrate in the High Court, invoking its inherent jurisdiction under Section 482. In other words, in order to invoke 482 of the Code, it is not required as a precondition that respondent shall have to file an application challenging maintainability of the proceeding before a learned magistrate and then appeal and finally an application under Section 482. So they are supporting the view that 482 is maintainable. There is no Supreme Court judgment on this. No lordship, unfortunately. Though the Supreme Court has quashed exercising the when the High Court has not exercised the 482 power, power, Supreme Court has quashed. Issue specific, but not issue yes, specific. As regards maintainability no. and no. cited. No. And as regards lordship, my learned friend who have referred that at uh, Supreme Court judgment, Tanas Swami, please. Kunaparedi. Kunaparedi. In that case, Kunaparedi, my learned friend was heavily referring to para 20. Hmm. Of this Punaparedi. Punaparedi on the in Punaparedi para 20, it has been only held that in most of the reliefs they are of civil nature. So Supreme Court, no, it, it was not seized of the matter whether 482 will be maintainable or not because the opening line of this judgment, the entire dispute was whether amendment can be made in the DVI. There is no specific finding whether 482 will no. be maintainable or no. No. So my learned friend was referring to this Punaparedi. The huh. para 3, it starts with lordship, kindly see. Very. Hmm. The issue that arises for consideration in the instant case is whether a court dealing with the petition of the complaint filed under the provisions of DV Act has power to allow amendment to the petition of the complaint originally filed. Hmm. So the uh, Supreme Court was dealing this, and in the end, it said mostly the reliefs are of civil nature. Therefore, it, it can be amended. Similar is the procedure, Lord Chief. So in this case, Supreme Court was not seized, not seized of with this question about maintainability. Similarly, your lordship would kindly appreciate that in that in 125 CRPC cases, also the amendment is permissible. So that is altogether a different question. So this Kunappa Reddy is now we are helping here. Now further, lordship, <coughs> this Supreme Court judgment, lordship, yes, oh, Ahirwar wala judgment, dekh raha hai lordship. Mm. Isme para 25 me kindly see. It starts from para 24, para 24, lordship. Oh. Of this Ayurveda judgment, MP High Court judgment. Questionment of proceeding under Section 482 on the basis of a statement of proceedings under Section 2 is justified. Referring to the case of State of Haryana versus Bajalal, whereas counsel for petitioner argued that when criminal proceeding manifestly attended with malafide and or when the proceeding is maliciously instituted, it should be quashed. In this regard, reference can also be made to the case of Ashish Dixit. 2013 for SCC so and so and for about 482 one paragraph is quoted. This court is of the opinion that respondent complainant has implicated the petition number six to twelve with ulterior motive and has not assigned any criminal act and they are not in domestic relationship as defined under section two five of the domestic violence act. 
for the reasons this this, this is allowed mm. now lord shit one of my ground on merits is that there is no domestic relationship between the disputing couple and the sister and the mother and father so this the same ground was there in this uh, this uh, airwar case also lord shit suresh airwar case and on in this case also lord shit authority to power has been exercised by our high court now lord shit kindly see this supreme court judgment in this also the authority to power has been exercised <coughs> has been exercised the question whether question has not been dealt question regarding should, there is one yes. there is one difficulty lord shit there are two high courts in this ahirwar's judgment also some uh, supreme court is relied yes but in that also that question was not raised yes lord shit the the irony is power is there only for the reason that the power was exercised could not mean that the mentality aspect i I, I, i go down to lord shit but there are two aspect one is that bombay high court has taken x view who equal strength of uh, madras high court later on has taken a different view so naturally and legally as per law of uh, state decisions and per imperium bombay high court would be that will apply to the same court but it is apply to two different courts lord shib as of now in in our high court this question has not come up for consideration mm-hmm. as of now mm-hmm. unfortunately this question has not even come up for consideration before supreme court now now lord shib we will have to go to some other high court mm-hmm. and authoritative pronouncement by constituting a larger bench has been made out it is not a, like honorable single bench of that high court has considered something some question was referred mm-hmm. and then they have answered that question and refer the matter for honorable single judge for disposal so lord shib they have considered the law now we have only these these things lord shib these uh, authorities lord shib both both decide now coming on to lord shib further <coughs> all the judgments as regards for in union are with respect to the same court there is no judgment with respect to two judgments of two different high courts suddenly lord how a third high court will deal with both then lord shib lord shib has the opportunity <laughs> Because this is recent, recent tigra here. In our high court, this is recent tigra. We have burnt our midnight oil for many days. But this, this particular specific question, whether 482 is maintainable or not, has not been decided. It is recent mm-hmm. tigra. Mm-hmm. Which judgment will be binding? Tell me, uh, is Bombay or Madras? Madras. As per my limited understanding of law and law of per inquirium, no doubt that law of per inquirium applies to the same court. But essentially, the, we can borrow the principle of law lordship. but madras has noted the bombay judgment but it and has given its reasons for yes, this agreement only only one not. reason right or wrong yes lord it, it, it cannot override it cannot overrule it cannot say it is laying, laying down bad law it can but it can definitely decide they have taken a different different view different view they yes. can record a reason yes to why we are taking a different view now lord which which will their, prevail that is within their jurisdiction that is within so it cannot be said to be per yes. inquiry now lord shib i will come to one one more judgment hmm. of uh, single judge of uh, madras high court hmm. uh, I'm, i'm sorry bombay high court which says that they i just refer to that bombay high court judgment hmm. single bench single bench it is saying that honorable court single bench is saying that with utmost respect we are i am not agreeing with the view taken by the full bench of the madras high court so the honorable single bench like this honorable court also and that like by that honorable court can take a view that whether they are bound by they they are certainly not lordship is not certainly bound by but lordship can take the view because this matter is recent thing in our high court so it, the view can be taken whether that full bench of bombay will apply or the madras will apply as has been uh, taken by the single bench of bombay high court in that case lordship now lordship they are second limb of argument pehle maintainability ha maintainability ke second in ka tha na ki appeal mein jaiye aap 482 mein kaise aage wo rehne de usme bahut fine law has been laid down lordship nahi in the jabu rehne de the statute itself is clear about it there has to be appeal mein jaane ko koi occasion hi nahi hai wo order hone ke baad jayenge because there is one word the in section 29 of the dv act and the word the has been interpreted lordship hmm. kindly see lordship <coughs> section 29 yes yeah. appeal there shall lie an appeal to the court of session within 30 days from the date on which the order made by the magistrate is served on the aggrieved person this would be the final order this would be the either the interim order or final order hmm. but it has to be a protection order hmm. and uh, an order passed under the provisions of the act provisions of this act not, not this routine cognizance order so the one high court has held that this uh, there are two three high court delhi high court bombay high court and uh, madras high court also mm-hmm. that the word is that prefix is there and that the order means that the protection order in chapter 
not the routine orders of cognizance. And Lord Shri, I have challenged the complaint and the cognizance order. As no cases made out. Okay. Now, the appeal cannot be filed against the complaint. Hmm. I have challenged that order. Now, Lord Shri, okay. on that okay. appeal, I am not, since Lord Shri was okay. convinced, I am not referring to judgment. Various courts have entertained Lord Shri 482 petitions. And are quite they judgment, they No, they have not dealt with the specific issue about no, winter, but they have questioned. And uh, my own argued case, Lordship, the 482 it has been allowed and proceedings have. But not the judgments which I am citing. So there will be hundreds of judgments in which power has been exercised. So Lordship, the question. essential question is whether this honorable court previously in many cases has been wrongly exercising this power or rightly exercising this power. Without even considering the question whether it is maintainable or not. There, there can be a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Till pointed out. Yes, Lord. It can be pointed out and can be corrected. This is the order, Lordship. Hmm. Puldeep Singh celebrated order of our own High Court Indore bench. My 482 is allowed. Hmm. There is a Lordship. Now, Lordship, on, Lordship. on marriage, it is not required, Lordship. Agar maintainable, Lordship. 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 Lordship.